The following is a listener-supported ministry from the Grace Evangelical Society. Welcome back to Grace in Focus. This is the radio broadcast and podcast ministry of the Grace Evangelical Society. Today we're talking about following Jesus and about a blind man named Bartimaeus who regains his sight. The Grace Evangelical Society is located in North Texas, and we'd love for you to get to know more about us by going to our website, faithalone.org. There we have a free subscription to our magazine, also called Grace in Focus. It is a 48-page, full-color magazine that comes out six times a year, and the subscription is free. There is a cost for postage if you live outside of the lower 48 United States, but otherwise all you have to do is sign up for it. We'd love you to have it. That's at faithalone.org. Now with today's discussion, a part of our study in the book of Mark, here is Bob Wilkin along with Ken Yates. Hola, peeps. We are here. I'm C. I speak Spanish, Ken. (laughs) Hola. Hola. I don't know if peeps is a... uh, Well, how do you say hola, peeps in Spanish? I don't know what peeps means. Is it just people? People, people. Personas. Hola, Uh, personas. (laughs) I'm not sure if that's how they would say it or not. That's a good question. Uh, We're going through Mark, and if you've been following these, when we were in chapter 7, we picked a a very impressive woman, the Syrophoenician woman. What a great example of it, because if Mark is a book about discipleship, which it is. Which it is. Which it is. It's not surprising, then, that Mark would pick people to show us what a disciple is. What they look like. That's right. Here's an example of it. And with the Syrophoenician woman, we found it in a very unexpected place. Here she was, a Gentile. And she's a woman. And she's a woman. And she's got a daughter that's demon-possessed. All the things against her. Right. She's as unclean as you could possibly be. But she's a woman with a clean heart. And remember in John 4, you've got, you know, women don't speak to men, let alone Samaritan women speaking to men, let alone a Gentile woman speaking to a Jew. Right. And so we've got that. When we got to chapter 10 and we said, well, which which, uh, passage should we just randomly pick? There's another example. You didn't pick it randomly, and his name is Blind Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus. And and Bar basically means son of. So right. So Bartimaeus is the son of Tim. Or well, there Tim you go. Ed. Tim's boy. Tim's boy. <laughs> this All is right. Tim's boy. And he's blind. Right. And Bartimaeus in the Gospel of Mark is given as a... Just like the Syrophoenician woman. You mean the blind Bartimaeus. Yeah, yeah. blind Bartimaeus. Yeah. It's as if Mark is saying, look at this guy. This is what I'm talking about. If you're a believer and you're looking at being a disciple, this is a guy you can learn, you can learn a lot from this guy. And the, right. and the name of the commentary is Lessons on Discipleship. Well, here it is. So what do we get with Bartimaeus? Well, a number of things. Bartimaeus, just some, if you're ever asked on Jeopardy, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. he is the only guy in Mark that is named who is healed. We know his name. All the other healings are unnamed? The closest we come to it is Jairus, his daughter. His daughter. But he's not the one that's healed. It's, but we, but don't, we don't get her name. We don't get we her don't name. We don't get the name of the twelve-year-old girl. We don't get the name of the woman with twelve-year issue of blood. We don't get the paralytic in chapter two. We don't get the name even of, his friends. That's right. We don't get the name of anybody until we get to Bartimaeus. Wow. Now, why is that? Well, you know, some people say oh, it's not that big a deal. Probably, we would say that Bartimaeus was known by the early church, and if he was known by the early church, then he's. He's not just a believer. He's somebody the church knows. You yeah. know, they know about this guy. And Bartimaeus is also the only guy in Mark who calls Jesus the son of David. Really? He's the only one. What about any women? Does anybody call Nobody. Him? Nobody calls him son of David. Right. Until Bartimaeus does. Wow. And so Bartimaeus. And that's a messianic title, A of messianic. Course. He knows who he is. He, so you, he say he's a believer. Oh Blind yes, Bartimaeus. now I, he's a believer who wants to be healed by Jesus, so he can serve him more effectively. Exactly, and we see Bartimaeus is an example then of not just a believer, but someone who wants to follow him. And so we see a, a number of lessons here. Discipleship is open to everybody. 
Any believer who wants to be a disciple of the Lord can be a disciple. Well, even for that matter, an unbeliever can, because Jesus did have some unbelieving disciples. John 6, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so, yes. And so, because Bartimaeus would have been seen as a blind man, as... Almost someone accursed. Cursed by God. Right. But he winds up being a hero. He's blessed. Yeah, he's, he's unbelievably blessed. And so... When we get to Bartimaeus here at the end of chapter 10, it's interesting. This is right before Jesus enters into Jerusalem. Wow. And so he— For the, for the triumphal entry and Passion Week and ultimately arrest. Exactly. here he, trials, scourging. He's about to die. Cross, die on the cross. Right. Rise from the dead. Yeah. And over and over again in, in Mark 8, 9, and 10, Jesus says, I'm going to Jerusalem to die. I'm going to Jerusalem to die. He tells them three times, the disciples. And each time, the disciples don't get it. So we could say they're blind. <laughs> so this is the blind man who could see. This is the blind man who could see. He sees more. He certainly sees more than the nation does, right? The nation is going to reject him. The religious leaders are going to reject him. They're blind. But, They're all rejecting Jesus, but this man but this not only a, believes in him, but he's coming to him for healing. That's right. So he, and he may well know that Jesus is going to the cross. We don't know. But we don't maybe. know. He's going to learn it. The impression is, notice the last words of chapter 10, verse 52. He followed Jesus on the, on road. the road. On the road where? To Jerusalem. On to Jerusalem. And the word followed is a discipleship term. He followed him on the road. And this road, in the next verse, leads to Jerusalem. Just jumping in here to make you aware of our magazine, Grace in Focus. It is a bi-monthly, six issues per year, 48-page magazine, full color. And we want you to subscribe by emailing your name and your snail mail address to ges at faithalone.org. The subscription is free. It can be accessed electronically or it can be actually physically sent to you if you live in the lower 48 United States. That's our Grace and Focus magazine. Send your name and snail mail address to ges at faithalone.org. And so we have this guy who's blind physically but sees more than the nation. And we would even say that Mark is saying he sees even more than the disciples because the disciples think they're going to Jerusalem to set upon thrones and everything's going to be great. And Bartimaeus on this road to Jerusalem, uh, he's following the Lord and the Lord is headed there to his cross. And this man was a beggar. Yes. Because it says specifically here in verse 46 that he was by the road begging. Right. Because that was the way to make a living if you were blind, right? Right. This guy, this guy's a nobody. I mean, this, you know, you mentioned being cursed by God. He's, you know, the Jewish idea is if you're rich, then you're blessed by God. Right. Well, this guy's as poor as they come. That's why when Jesus talks to the rich young ruler, it's like, say what? (laughs) That's right. Well, even the disciples say, well, if the rich can't be saved, who can be? Who can be, right. Yeah, they saw it as being blessed. And so Bartimaeus is a person who is looked down upon, but here but he not is. by Jesus. No, and he's like I said, he's in Mark's gospel, he's really given as a great example. And so what is it? So here's this guy begging by the side of the road, and it says that he hears a large crowd coming. Hodges wrote some articles for Bibsack years ago on this issue because Biblio Theca Sacra, the Journal of Dallas Theological Seminary. Right. Yeah. Because Mark says that now they came to Jericho, verse 46. And by the way, Jericho is the last town or city of any size before you get to Jerusalem. And it says, as he went out of Jericho, that's when he meets Bartimaeus. Yeah, in fact, there's an issue regarding inerrancy because in one of the other gospels, it's two people he heals. Right. And here it's one person. And the other one, they don't name them. But here they... they right. Mark wants to use Bartimaeus as, here's the dude you need to look at. But one of them says, I think specifically, it was the road... Uh, what does it say? Is it... The, In the other gospel, it says that while Jesus was entering 
Jericho. And this is where he's going out. Out. So these could have been two separate healings. The other one doesn't name him as Bartimaeus, does it? It doesn't give the when name. When it talks but, about two. But but here's the, here's here's what Zane did in his article, which I think is great. Uh, it says there's a large crowd following him as Jesus is heading toward Jerusalem. Right. And Luke says, now, when they were entering into Jerusalem, Bartimaeus hears him, you know, he hears him like this. So it does mention Bartimaeus' well, name. Well, the blind man. The blind, oh, it doesn't the say blind, the blind man. No, it doesn't mention Bartimaeus' name. Okay. But Mark says it was when he was coming out. And when Jesus was coming out is when he meets Bartimaeus. Here's what's happening. The large crowd is meeting him. And as the crowd is entering into Jericho, Bartimaeus hears it. Right. And they're coming through. They're coming through the town is, and Jesus is in the middle of the crowd. So right. you got people going in front of him. You got Jesus. You got people going behind him, just as you would picture. You know, mm-hmm. people are all around him. Well, when the crowd enters into Jerusalem, Bartimaeus hears it. Says, "What's going on? What what is that? He's blind. He doesn't know what's going right. on. Plus, it's on the other side of the little town. Now, these towns were small. You know, they weren't. Oh, you're saying he's on the other side. Of he's the town, on the other side, but he's hearing about the commotion as it's area. coming into the town." And so as Jesus is leaving, he now gets his opportunity. That's right. But Bartimaeus doesn't know when Jesus is going to get to him. He doesn't know. And so what does Mark say he does? He shouts out, son of David, son of David. Oh, you mean he, you say, you think he's shouting that repeatedly? Oh, absolutely he is. It's in the imperfect. He's over and over again. Because here's this crowd he hears. And so, he, so he's asked, well, what, what's that noise? So it's not like he's heard that the crowd has gotten near him. No. They, He's just saying this, knowing he'll be here along at some point. That's right. He hears, you know, let's say it's 50 yards away or whatever, you know, whatever it is, he hears it. What is this? Well, Jesus of Nazareth is coming by. And what does Bartimaeus do? Son of Have David. mercy, son of David. Have mercy, son of David. Because the Old Testament prophet said that when the Christ comes, he's going to heal the blind. Isaiah wow. says it. Yes. And he knows he's the son of David. That's what he calls him. And that's what mercy would be. That's right. Be merciful to me. I'm a nobody. Look at his humility here. I'm a nobody. And I know that. But you're the son of David. And you're more than able. And I'm one of the children of Abraham. The bottom line is, he's very persistent. The crowd says, shut up. He keeps yelling it out. And the Lord shows mercy to him. He gets on the road as soon as he can see. So let's head to Jerusalem. So it shows the value of persistence, persistence in discipleship. And Mark is the only gospel as well that says he threw his cloak aside. Wow. That would have had his money in it. He threw it all aside so he could get to the Lord and follow him on the road to Jerusalem. He gave wow. up everything to follow him. That's Wonderful great. picture of it. Bartimaeus, a guy to look to. Amen. <laughs> and uh, we hope this helps you. Keep, Keep grace in focus. focus. Read many from our library of thousands of free magazine and journal articles online at faithalone.org slash resources. That's faithalone.org. Did you miss an episode of Grace in Focus that you really wanted to hear? Just come to faithalone.org. That's faithalone.org. We have all our past episodes right there on the site. Our team is really great about answering questions, comments, and feedback. If you've got some, we hope to hear from you. Let me give you our email address so you can do just that. It's radio at faithalone.org. That's radio at faithalone.org. On our next episode, please join us. We'll be talking about a fruitless fig tree. And until then, let's keep grace in focus. The proceeding has been a listener-supported ministry from the Grace Evangelical Society.